Welcome back. We already finished working on options. We know how to how the options of widgets work. We even know how methods work, at least most of them. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to explore events. We're not going to check every single event. We're really just going to give you a tease and a taste so you could go on later on and start playing with it. Many of the events are common to all, all scenarios, and all really what you need to know is just to be familiar with the different types of events and when they're done. In this video, we're just going to explore a couple of events, mainly seeing how to work with them. Now, the first way we're going to do, and by the way, there's two different ways of working with events, and it's true in a lot of different languages. One way is using literal events, and the other way is using callbacks. Let's start with callbacks, and then we'll move on to events. Now, the big difference between callbacks and events is that a callback is literally we hand the function to the, to the widget and say, hey, call this function whenever you're ready. On the other hand, events are the other way around where we ask the widget, hey, hey, could you let me know whenever something happens? So I could call this function. It's literally a, a different step. And why would you choose one of the two? When you're using a callback, you know you're only going to use that one function forever. You're not going to use any other function beyond that. While when you use events, with events, you could trigger a few functions at the t same time by adding multiple events at the same time. Now we're not going to cover multiple events at this section, at this, at this section, but let's cover the two different types of ways of doing it. So let's start first of all with our dialog box. We want to make sure we're going to initially first what we want to do is we want to go into our code and I'm just going to cancel out all the code that we made in our last section. And I want to start over by literally what I want to do is I want to go into our event. I want everything to be open initially. And what I want to do is I want to start adding callbacks. Now, the first callback that I want to add is whenever my event is closed because right now it's open. Literally what I mean is when I click on this close button, I want to be, be well, I want to know about it so I could do something. And the way to do it is incredibly simple. The way you do it with callbacks is you go into the options dot into the options of the dialog, just add another comma, and add a new option, and that would be the option. Once you do that, you're going to send in the function, and literally you're sending a full function into the open property, you could say, but it's a callback. Now this callback is in, in the same category as events right now. In that callback, this function is now only going to be called whenever our component is open. And as our component is opened as soon as our application starts, how about we change the background color as soon as the application opens? So the background color that we want to choose whenever our application opens, let's let's approach first our document itself. So I'm going to approach my body. And my body itself, I want to update the CSS. Now this CSS property, if you don't know, this is an attribute not of jQuery UI, but of jQuery. And because the jQuery UI library is based on jQuery, we could approach also jQuery library elements. The CSS option basically enables me to put inside an object that just lists out different components, different um, CSS attributes that we want to update. And what I want to update is the background. And for the background, I want to put a background color. So I'm going to set here a color, a dark color. Let's make it 33333. Three, 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 three. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 3. Because it's red, green, blue. All right, so I'm going to save that. Now I've updated the color. All that's left for me, and obviously you could choose whatever color you want. Once I've done that and I go back into my application, hopefully when I click on refresh, I will see that my dialog box, box open, and as soon as it opened, also the background color of my application has changed. Now, obviously if we close our button, I don't know if obviously if we close our button, nothing's going to remove back. So we want to also update that. So let's go back into our application. And what we want to do is how about we make a completely different color again. So I'm going to comment out and let's also use the close function or the close callback. And in the close callback, we could literally do basically the exact same thing, only this time we could pick a different color. So how about whenever the, the component is closed, we're going to um, still be in the gray tones, but how about we go to a much lighter gray? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And here we go. Let's give it a try again. So when our component is open now, we're going to have a dark gray. As soon as we close it, our dark gray will turn into a light gray. So we've worked now with callbacks, and literally that's all we had to do to be able to create really, really easy callbacks using jQuery UI. Now, there's a few other callbacks that we could call, and literally every single event is a callback as well. So if you want to approach something directly, and you just want to work with callbacks, well, you're fine. In the next video, we'll explore a couple of other callbacks or events, but this time we're going to approach them as events. But you could do either or, you don't have to do both, but it's good to know both in case you have to open up someone else's work and you'll need to explore and understand what's going on there. So in the next video, we're going to continue working with events, but this time around, we're literally going to create call, instead of call,